Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So I'm really sorry guys, uh, I could not prepare the video on Playwright, but we will continue the Playwright series as well, side by side. So today we are going to talk about the concept of how to create different locators, right? I'm not talking about different selectors like XPath, CSS and all such things, but I'm talking about it, how to create a web element. So here we call how to create locator. Just like we have the concept in Selenium, driver dot find element and find elements same thing we have the concept of locator and then how to create different locators now we can create the list of locators as well let's see how to do this so for doing this let's do one thing let's uh, you can go to this particular site and let's say i want to click on contact sales i want to simple perform a dot click option over here so how will you create a simple locator or simple web element for this contact sales so in that case, I can see a text locator or text of this particular element is available. So I have already launched the browser with the Chromium and then I'm running in the non headless mode. And then from this particular browser, I'm going to create a browser context here. Okay. So I'll simply say, okay, fine. This is my, uh, I'll say browser dot uh, context, new context that I'm going to create. And uh, this browser dot new context, as we see that it will give you the browser context. So let's store inside the browser uh, context here. And let's see, this is my, uh, let's see, I'll create browser context is equal to this. And from this particular browser context, I'm going to create a page context. So let's create a, a new page over here. And this new page will actually give you a page reference. So I'm going to store inside the page, page is equal to this. And then with the help of this page, I'm going to launch the URL. So I'll simply say, okay, fine, page.navigate. And the URL that I'm going to use, this particular URL, okay, of orange HRM application. And then on this page, we have this element is directly available. So in this case, what exactly I'm going to do that, right click on it and go to inspect. And then you can see that it's having its a text something contact sales and then here it's written capital contact sales so what i'll do whatever it's visible on the page right everything is a capital letter i'll just try to capture this entire capital letter over here see let me just go back and then just capture this entire co contact sales instead of uh see if you see inside a dom it's written with a small contact sales so whatever it's visible on the page the priority will be given to this one right so i'll do one thing then which method we have to use here you simple write page dot and the method name is you have to use locator and here you can give the any string selector you can pass that okay so let's see the string simple i'm using see here we will talk about what are different selectors are available right now i'm not concentrating on the selectors part we can use xpath we can use css selector or we can use a text a selector also like that the direct text selector is not available in selenium but playwright supports that as well so I simply say, okay, fine, this is my contact sales. So I'll write, this is my uh, contact sales, exact spelling, whatever is written, you can see, do that. And this locator is actually giving you what it see, it's giving you the locator, L capital. So I'm going to store inside the locator, a reference here, for example, let's see, this is my uh, contact uh, sales locator, something like this. And this locator you have to import from Microsoft Playwright, right? And here you can see the locator is actually an interface. It represents the view of the specific element on the page. It's actually representing a web element. So don't get confused between locator and the web element because in Selenium locators means different types of locator like XPath and everything. Here the locator means the actual web element available on the page. So contact sales, then what do you want to do this? So I simply say, okay, fine, you just mouse over and then you can perform a dot click. So again, uh, contact sales dot click, you can do that. You can ignore this particular over, that ignore it. You can still want to write it. You can just actually uh, hover and then click on it. So let's see, it is working on it. It's clicking on that particular uh, button or link, whatever is there on contact sales or not. So I... I'm running in the Chromium. You can see the Chromium browser got launched and uh, the URL is getting launched. And once the page is fully loaded and here you can see it's clicking on contact sales and the new contact sales page is getting open perfectly fine. Perfect. 
so this is absolutely working fine so likewise you can create any locator you can i mean any create any locator you can create any selector you can pass like either could be xpath it could be uh, css selector it could be link text whatever that you want to use that that we will do in the next chapter that what are the different selectors are available right now we are just concentrating on how to create a web element here right now if you really want to use now find elements kind of concept so this is for the single element remember this thing so see i'm writing this is for my uh, single element another thing is that with the single element multiple elements also i'll tell you but remember one thing for example let's see if you go to some other application for example let's see if you go to academy.naveenautomationlabs.com let me just log out from here and if you go there see this is a login button is there let's do one thing on naveenautomationlabs.com see this carefully i'm going to change the url right and i'll do one thing i'm going to create one more locator here i'm going to comment it out this one fine and uh, this time i'm saying this is my login a button which is equal to the text is equal to capital login i mean capital l with the login so i'll say this is my login okay and then on the login button you do a over and then do a click will this work let's see if it's working or not so run as java application and i'll tell you why i'm covering this particular use case see browser got launched and uh, here it's not clicking on login right and then if you see the console output it's giving you error over here see it's saying first of all that error okay it's saying the playwright exception is coming it's saying the strict mode violation text is equal to login resolved to three different elements it means with text equal to login there are three different elements are available right so it's saying that okay fine that you have uh, something like text is equal to login uh, having three elements see element number one element number two and element number three so it's actually waiting for these three elements and then this is called the strict type element creation so here you can see that here someone or someone thing this a is also having login and then this button is also having this particular login and then there is one div section also having the text that unable to login we are here Naveen animation 20 at gmail.com so three elements are having the login text so in that case the playwright is confused at which login has to be created i mean which login has to be uh, returned so in that case it will give you error with the message that okay the text is equal to login resolved to three different elements in selenium whatever the first element is there it actually return the same web element but in playwright it will give you uh exception over here that playwright exception so that is called the hard strict type playwright web element creation so in this case what you can do is that you can just simply create the page locator like this and then you can say okay fine i want to click on the first one so there are multiple options are available see this is what you can say the first one and then you over and then you click on it right so let's do that it's really working or not so run as java application and uh, let's see the moment it finds the first one it should click on it see uh, i'm launching and now it's perfectly clicking on it and the login page is getting opened over here and then you can see on the console it's not giving you any error it's totally fine right now if you really want to check that how many uh, text is to login elements are available what you can do is that you can just simply say okay fine that give me the count so you can write dot count here and this dot count will actually give you the integer so what i can do is that i can instead of writing over here i'll say the login button right a dot count which is giving you that integer so let's see i'll say this is my total uh, logins is equal to this okay so total logins equal to this and then you simply print this particular uh, total login here in the system dot out print allen let's see how many elements it's giving and then I, instead of writing over here like this i simply say okay fine this is the collection that you have captured and from this particular collection what you do is that you just go to uh, the first one okay so simple say okay first one and then you do a dot click here 
like this also you can write it right so this is the complete collection that you have captured and then go to the first one and then you click on it so let's see it is working or not so the count should give you three because ideally it should give you three because the first time we got the three and on the page also there are three different elements are available here you can see it's clicking on login and here you can see the three different login text is available on the page you got it it means there are three different elements are available having the same text is equal to login so you capture some locator like that and then do a dot count it will give you the integer and then login first dot click it will give it to you so you can use the first also you can use that right if you see that okay dot and then do you have any other something like this see second or something no it's not so it will give you the first and do you have the something like this last yes it will give you the last also so the first and last it will give it to you you can perform let's say you found 10 different uh, 10 elements with the same locator with the same selector then you can perform first and you can go to the last one as well perfect so remember this thing whenever you're writing login button dot click directly it will not work it will give you playwright exception that three different elements found with the same text is equal to login like that so you have to write first and then do a dot click so this is about the how to handle the single element right now let's talk about that how to handle multiple elements so i'm going to comment it out and then i'm going to write that is that how to create multiple elements just like driver dot find elements for example, let's say I'll simple go to this page orange HRM once again and I change the URL. So this is again orange HRM URL and uh, this is my country drop down. So you inspect this country drop down from here and uh, here what you see is that this is a select tag and just open the select tag and there are a number of option tags are available. So I can quickly create a CSS selector right here that okay fine this is my select where ID equal to this. So I'll say, okay, fine, select, and this is ID. So I'll write select uh, hash ID and give me all the options, so space option. So you can see that it's giving you 232 countries are available. It's giving you the count of 232. And uh, you can see that, yeah, 232 countries are there. My task is that we have to capture all the options tag in a particular list, and then we have to create a a kind of driver dot find elements kind of concept just like we do it in selenium same thing how will you do in the playwright okay i'm just giving you the reference of selenium also because i'm pretty much sure you most of the people are coming from selenium background so that you can relate the things how exactly similar kind of things we have in playwright as well with the different syntax what you just need to do is that same method you have to write page dot a locator and whatever the selector that you have created copy that particular paste that particular selector and uh, this time you just need to store inside the locator for example let's say this is my uh, country options right so i'm giving a nice name country options is equal to this and then you can check that what is the country option size so you can just print uh, country options dot uh, size okay here don't use dot size this is dot count because this is not list of web element or list of locator it's simple a uh, locator if you get the multiple locators it will give you the count right so let's say it's giving you the count of 232 or not and then we will see other things as well so let's run it and let's see so here you can see the chromium got launched and uh, it's launching orange hrm once again and uh, let's see the count is perfect 232 we are getting you can see on the console the count is 232 perfect now I really want to iterate this particular, it's a kind of multiple elements, it's a kind of list that I captured, right? Although it's not an array list or list. So let's say I want to capture it. Uh, how will you do that? There are multiple ways of uh, doing it. For example, let's write a typical for loop here. Exactly same thing we used to do in Selenium as well. So I'll say, okay, fine, integer i is equal to zero. And then i less than what? This is my country options up to the count of this, up to 232, i plus plus. And then see this carefully because this is not a list so i can use i cannot use dot get method and pass the value of i or pass the index i here what you have to do this is my country options and then dot and then here you have to use the nth of index and what is the index the index is i actually is going on and then what exactly you want to capture i want to capture the text of each and every element see afghanistan albania algeria american samoa 
whatever the text is available i want to capture that particular text so here to capture the text the method name is the text content method you have to use that and then text content method will give you the string so you can store inside the string for example this is my text here and then you can just print it on the console so let's see it is working or not like this right so let's simple run it with java application let's see it is giving you the text of each and every country option from the drop down so i'll just see it here application got launched and can you see that see all the countries are getting printed on the console from a to z and uh, here you can see 232 countries are there and this select country is the first option and then it's giving you along with select country other 231 countries are getting printed so total is 232 countries are there perfect so this is the first way of iterating this particular country options i'm just going to comment it out there is another way of doing it what you can do simple is that simple write country options and see it's so simple simple write that dot all text contents and now this all text contents is giving you what it's giving you the list of a string now you will be getting list of a string not list of locator so it will directly capture the list of a string the one wrapper function is already available and then you simply say okay fine this is my list of a string that i'm getting and then i'll say okay fine this is my options uh, text list give a nice name and then import your list from java.util and options text list i just need to iterate so you can now write a for each loop or for loop you can write a stream also so let's see i'm writing a simple for uh, for each loop a string e in this particular options list and then what do you want to print i want to print the value of e like this you can simply do that okay so this is the first way and this is the second way this is also you can do that i'll give you the third way also so let's run it and let's see i'll show you with the help of uh, directly you can use for each also you can use that okay so here you can see the browser is getting launched and again it's giving you the complete 232 countries over here perfect so this is also you can do that you can just simply use all text contents directly so you don't need to write nth of i text content it will give you the complete list of a string remember this method is very useful list of a string it will give it to you and then you simply write a for loop iterate and then one by one you can print it or you can write a normal for loop also index based for loop also because now you got the list this is order based array list and then you can just simply iterate that this is the second one if you really want to use with the help of lambda so what you can do is that you can simply write one line statement dot for each because uh, you just need to store it over here like this and then you write dot for each method you can write it store let's see some element put a lambda and pass it to where system dot our print ln le so le is representing a string and le is representing the text of each and every element which is stored over here right so it will capture the string text from this particular list one by one supply through the lambda to the system dot our print l and then consume it and then simply use it so here you can see the for each method you can simply use it as a consumer you can pass it and then consume with the system dot our print l then when you run it again let's see it is working or not so the browser is again getting launched and uh, let's see this time the drop down is getting printed on the console or not yes i mean all the values from the drop down getting printed on the console absolutely working fine fine so this is what again you can use it with the help of <coughs> in case of uh, uh, multiple elements with the help of same page dot locator so here we don't have a separate method if number of locators are available you can it will behave like a kind of i would say a kind of a collection multiple collection multiple collection of different elements if you have only one single element then you can simply use it okay fine contact sales i got and then dot click directly you can perform dot click we will see the fill also send keys also we will see that later right now i'm just concentrating on that how to create a web element and multiple web elements the list of web elements 
remember one thing if the single element i mean this is giving you the multiple elements over here this is also case of multiple elements that you captured because this is giving you the count of uh, three here and then if you really want to perform the go to the first one and then you dot do a dot click that also you can do that so this is again a kind of multiple elements concept only remember this thing right so on multiple elements you cannot perform dot click directly otherwise it will give you an exception playwright exception that three elements found or four elements found or multiple elements found with the same locator or with the same selector that you are using it here remember so you have to use either first or last or then you have to iterate it if the condition is matched okay it is equal to login and then or first one and then do a dot click and then break the loop like this you can do that okay and with multiple element it's very straightforward three ways of doing it and index also you can use that one by one the text content you can capture and then you can directly capture all the context i mean all the text content uh, directly and then it will give you the list of a string so remember this method will give you list of a string okay and then the third way is like this also you can iterate it directly okay i mean this is just an iteration you can use simple use lambda also here directly perfect so this is about the single element and the multiple elements handling in playwright i hope it's pretty much clear because we will be using this concept very frequently in in further use cases as well to get the footer list to get the a google search page that you are doing it and then you're getting the suggestion list uh, drop down handling and then multiple use cases are there with respect to total number of links are available on the page total number of images are available on the page i'll show you in upcoming chapters how to do that perfect so that's all for this particular video guys i hope you are liking playwright please please subscribe to the channel share with others let me know if you have any issues and uh, you're not able to do that put it in the comment section definitely i'll try to look over there Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.